Hello and welcome to JXG Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is meant by a stabilized approach of an aircraft. Before we look at what is meant by a stabilized approach, let's look at why a stabilized approach is required or the advantages of a stabilized approach. If the approach is stabilized, it ensures a safe landing of the aircraft, which is landing at the correct speed and attitude. A stabilized approach also ensures the completion of the landing rule within the available runway length or the available landing distance. With a stabilized approach, pilots can avoid a loss of control of the aircraft during approach, which is more critical if there is any terrain surrounding the runway. And finally, a smooth flare maneuver can be initiated by the pilots if the approach is stabilized. So what is meant by a stabilized approach? During the approach phase, which comes just before the flare and the landing roll, if the aircraft satisfies a set of conditions, then the approach is called as a stabilized approach. A few of these conditions are approach speed, rate of descent, landing configuration, aircraft attitude, and engine thrust setting. Let's look at these conditions in more detail. The approach speed. During the approach phase, the aircraft speed must be a few knots faster than the desired touchdown speed. Depending on the aircraft manufacturer, this may be defined as V approach or V ref. These speeds will be at least 1.3 times more than the stall speed of the aircraft for a given landing configuration. The rate of descent. This is regarding the approach angle and the rate at which the aircraft is descending. Usually the approach angle would be 3 degrees and the rate of descent would be between 600 to 700 feet per minute. The maximum rate of descent for a stabilized approach will never exceed 1000 feet per minute in all cases. Landing configuration. The aircraft should be fully configured for landing, which is with respect to the flaps and the landing gear. In normal flying conditions, for a stabilized approach, the flaps should be extended fully and the landing gear should also be extended. It should also be ensured that they are locked in their respective positions. The aircraft attitude. The aircraft must be stable on all the three axes and only minor corrections may be allowed if required due to external factors. During the approach phase, the potential energy of the aircraft gets converted into kinetic energy. So proper energy management is essential for a smooth and safe landing. The aircraft attitude plays a major role in the total energy management of the aircraft. If an instrument landing system or ILS is used for the approach, the aircraft should have captured and aligned with the localizer and glide slope signal of the runway in which the aircraft has to land. The ILS assists the aircraft in being stabilized on the final descent path. The engine thrust setting. Since the aircraft is descending, the engine thrust can be reduced. But the engine should be stable and the thrust provided by the engine will be a little above idle.
So, in general, for stabilized approaches, these conditions should be satisfied. Depending on whether the aircraft is flown under instrument met conditions, IMC, or visual met conditions, VMC, there is an altitude limitation by which the aircraft should be stabilized. Under IMC, the aircraft should be stabilized by 1000 feet and under VMC, the aircraft should be stabilized by 500 feet. IMC and VMC are defined based on visibility, distance from cloud and ceiling. During the approach phase, if these conditions are not satisfied, it is always best to perform a go-around and make a new attempt for landing the aircraft. There may be many reasons why the approach becomes an unstabilized approach. Let's take a look at few of the reasons. These are some of the reasons for an unstabilized approach. Poor visibility, adverse weather conditions, crew fatigue, failure of ILS receiver on board the aircraft, any ATC restrictions, terrain obstacles near the airport. That's all for my video on the stabilized approach. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.